Yeah. Here, oh. Here Ooh, we go. Hey. Number 56. Wow. And look, there's Blayhawk. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> You sound like you're working hard again there in the backyard. Uh, my wife does somewhere. Ma'am, I saw that the other day again talking about she's taking a bike riding. <laughs> she was like, yeah, the pool boy, yeah, he's great. You know, he cleans my pool, takes my wife. <laughs> my wife for bike, bike rides. rides. Yeah. Long yeah. walks. Long walks on the uh, beach. That's hilarious. All that stuff he doesn't have to worry about. Yeah, he don't have to worry about that it's stuff. It's good to be the king. It is. And Jim is. You know, the I'm king. a busy I'm a busy man. <laughs> I don't have it's, time for those mundane chores. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So what's going on out there, buddy? <laughs> Nothing. Just you know, just working. That's it. Notice the oranges behind him there. Yes, they're in season. Come get some. Yes. Anybody who wants oranges, come get them. We've got about a billion. <laughs> that, that's 1724 Paw Paw Patch Lane. <laughs> Paw Paw right. Patch. <laughs> in Elder, the lovely El Dorado Hills, California. <laughs> uh, what are you going to do if people do show up and start picking your oranges? Give them to them. Rejoice. Yeah. We can't yeah. possibly eat this many oranges. We got oranges, lemons, three types of oranges. I, rem- I remember Greg walking out of there with two garbage bags full of oranges. I think that sustained him for about two months. You know, Burl Hager said there's two kinds of berries. There's two kinds of Dingles and, <laughs> two kinds yeah, and, and that song. I wear my own kind of hat. Two kinds of berries. Two, right? We get and three kinds of oranges. Didn't he just say he's got three kinds of oranges? Yeah, we have three kinds of oranges. Yeah. Okay. And lemons. (laughs) Why don't somebody bring us in here? And lemons. (laughs) Please. We're off to a roaring start here with Jim's fruit. Hey, welcome back to Blaylock's Fruit Basket. <laughs> cornucopia. His cornucopia. Of berries. So, I am, I've got my outlaw gear on today. I th- yes, I thought it looks I had good. my outlaw hat on. Because you do not have, have your outlaw hat on. I thought I did, and I forgot. I got my knick-knack paddywhack hat. <laughs> I wore this because we do have an outlaw as our guest today. Oh, yeah, A yeah. A true outlaw. He is, isn't Mr. He? Carl Ray Hopper. Oh, Lord save us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Carl Ray. We've been keeping him in the closet, you know, this whole time, trying to hide him from y'all, but it's time to turn him keep loose. That, better keep that finger on the mute <laughs> Release button. the Kraken. I know. There's there's too many scratches inside the Release inside the doors the now. We keep hearing <laughs> Let me out of here, let me out of here. So yes. Carl the Kraken, will you will meet him today? <laughs> Hang on, what a great guy! What a fun dude, yeah, dude! Yeah, you'll be, yeah. You'll be uh, thrilled and amazed, <laughs> <laughs> utterly. <laughs> to quote old Barnum and Bailey. <laughs> Hopefully, there will be a, a club number seven. I mean, fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. <laughs> after yeah. after old Carl yeah. Ray, <laughs> he gonna burn it to the burn ground. Burn it down. Burn it down. <laughs> Oh, good mm. stuff. No, yep. got, uh, yeah, got lots to talk about with him. Lots to talk about, yeah. Good stuff going down. These are exciting times. Yeah. We had something really cool happen yesterday here in the old CCB Nashville studio. Right here. Right here, just just a couple right, feet right from that here. camera right there. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Larry Stewart from Restless Heart. The man was here. Ooh. Oh, turn hey, it up, Jim. Hey, Jim. Turn that thing up. Hey, get, a, get a handle on that, will you? <laughs> And it's the it's the neighbor's guy. It's oh, not mine. I can't do anything about that. I can't yell at the Central. neighbor's guy. <laughs> the neighbor's guy. guy. Not the neighbor. Yeah. Wow, the neighbor's Jim. Guy. He really is. He's living he, large. He is a one percenter, isn't he? He's living he? large. Yeah. When you're talking Illuminati, you're talking play. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah bottom one percent. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're faking it pretty good there, Blaylock. Uh, yeah, you know. Uh, shoot. But what were we talking about? We digress. Larry Stewart. Right. He is going to be on. We went back and we we cut an old Restless Heart tune and 
he was kind enough to come sing on it with us. So that's a pretty for our new album. Pretty cool thing. We might not put it on the album. It might just be a special single. All right, I'm with you. Yeah, on that. you, you right. want to think? You think that? I'm yeah. with you on that. I think so too. Because our album is love songs. Oh, love. Lots of love. See what happens when you get married. Lots of love from Monty. I have nothing to do with this. <laughs> Jim's got his love, his, yeah. lo- his love machine. He just hit fifth gear, man. <laughs> hey, what's this guy doing over here, man? Kicked it into overdrive. <laughs> Boom! Going down. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, life in the suburbs. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, but um, goodness. Yeah, we can't stay on point. I know. So it, it's a great song. Of, uh, like Larry was, was telling us, he's the, when he sang that song, he was 27 years old. So, uh, and that's hard to believe because, I mean, that means, you know, he got in Restless Heart when he was 25 and has kind of lived the life of Riley since then. Yeah. <laughs> Living like Because Larry. the original singer quit. <laughs> wow. wow. I bet you that guy's kicking himself now. <laughs> you can ask Carl Ray how he feels about that when uh, when he gets on. Yeah. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> oh man. Well, we've got. <laughs> I can't stop. Because my mind with that. <laughs> It's impossible. Yeah. Life in the suburbs. Yeah. yeah. It must be nine must be nine AM. Yeah. Well I tell you, that's that that's tough. That's tough. It's that's why we love the compound. <sighs> yeah. Just every once in a while we'll we'll hear a screamer something from from the woods. <laughs> Blaylock had the old screamer when he was here. Yep. When he said that the RV. He thought old Squatch was going to come through the side of that oh, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got some weird stuff out there. Weird stuff. I think it's an owl. I think it's a bird that, yeah. that does its thing. Well, I have, yeah. I have something to add to the Squatch report when we get to it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, speaking of that, why don't we just go ahead and take a break now? We'll get to Carl Ray. And when we come back on the other side, we'll have our motorsports minute and okay. squash report and all that Sounds stuff. like a plan. Does that sound good? Yeah, because we're completely yeah, before them. Yeah, Jim yeah. Is, yeah. So since, since it's all gone is, to hell is, already, let's go geez. right to Carl Ray. Uh, yes. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> let's go. Let's do. <laughs> so listen to your heart, girl, and not somebody's life. Timer. Newbie. We are so happy to have you here, Carl Ray. What's going on where you are? Uh, I'm still an underachiever. I'm still uh, uh, unemployed at the time. <laughs> uh, COVID was not my idea, but I have enjoyed sitting around in my robe. <laughs> But you ever it, seen the big Lebowski? Oh yeah, is that you? Yeah, I just call me the dude. The dude, you the are the bites. dude, man. Hey, let me t- I, I gotta tell you people something. Oh, Carl Ray did a version, one of our songs. I made a wish, written by Jody Harris, Monty DeVita, and some other feller. And I'll tell you what, guys, it is. Bad it's bad ass. to the bone. Yeah, I mean, yep. it, it really is. You're gonna love it. 
You're going to love it. There is a lot. And uh, we're real excited about it. I, I know we've been keeping Carl kind of <clears throat> kind of a, a secret, but he's coming out guns a-blazing. Guns a-blazing. Full barrel. Going to rate... Uh, Going to radio here pretty soon with that song. So, um, yeah, we, we think you're going to love it. So, Carl, we are excited to have you along with the rest of us schmucks I'm, here on I'm, CCB. I'm, I'm excited, man. And I love Jody Harris. I know that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's a talented little filler. They're a little filler. He's a barrel of fun, man. I, I haven't seen him since, uh, I guess, Halloween yeah, oh, oh, yeah, over there at Geneva's yeah. place, right? Yeah. yeah, Geneva and Dwayne. Yeah, that was a good time. Call Ray. We always have our guests tell us their Nashville story <laughs> and, like, how you got here, when you got here, all your experiences. So Why? we are waiting with bated breath and with in anticipation to hear the Carl Ray Nashville story. Lay it on us, okay. brother. Uh, I like to call this, uh, where dreams go to die. <laughs> um, I moved here about 18 years ago. I was in a rock band and I started listening to Black Hawk and who else? Somebody. Oh, the Mavericks. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, me and my drummer were just, uh, you know, getting a little older and it was so loud and uh <laughs> you know what i mean yeah. we started listening to black Hawk on the yeah. bus and we listened to the mavericks and we thought hell we can do this and uh we came to nashville the first time and luckily we got a record deal with just in a few months which i don't know how we did that uh <laughs> it was just our time yeah and but but the cool thing is when I pulled up in the U-Haul, you have to return it on a full tank of gas. And I pulled up, so I was gassing up the U-Haul at a Mapco, and I look over at the other pump. It's Henry Paul from Blackhawk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the first thing, and I, and I walked over to him and I said, "Man, you're the reason I came here. <laughs> you know, to play country music." I came here with two hundred dollars in my pocket, and I'm not leaving till I get it back. You know, <laughs> and still then, here. Uh, yeah. still all we needed was a guitar player, and we thought, well, we'll find one here in Nashville. There's some pretty good pickers, and uh, we went to Twelfth and Porter. We were hanging out, looked over at the bar, and there was Nick Kane from the Mavericks. And that's all in the first day. And I was like, oh my god! I went over as <laughs> Nick. Wow. You're the reason, you know, <laughs> we moved here. And I said, we need a guitar player. Do you know anybody? And he just looked at me like I was an idiot. He wrote his number on a napkin. <laughs> and I was like, are you serious? You know, we don't make any money. And uh, I said, well, you know, we have a rehearsal Wednesday or whatever at my house. And Nick showed up. Come on. And I'm sitting in the living room and we're rehearsing with, with Nick Kane and, you know, just adore the Mavericks. And uh, that was my first day here. The second day sucked and, and it went downhill. <laughs> but I had a hell of a first day. That is awesome. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we, we got a deal. We moved, we oh moved away God. and then I came back a oh few years God. later and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> pretty much awesome. went down to music row and begged and we got lucky again and then i moved away and went out to texas and uh came back to nashville eight years ago <clears throat> and i think i need a uh, disguise because <laughs> they're like you again <laughs> yeah. you know i was like can I have one more record deal? And I swear to God, I'll leave town. I'll never come back. Just give me one more chance. Oh, man. <laughs> That's uh, my Nashville story, man. I, you know, you get distracted. There's been a couple girls take me to the cleaners. And uh, <laughs> caused a lot of grief. Yeah. Man, Carl, but you get a lot of good, you get a lot of good songs out of that. Absolutely, but it's, it's absolutely, absolutely. In fact, we we're, we're going to show some parts of a couple of your videos that 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 you've got out on the on the tube of you and all that stuff. But man, I knew 
I knew Carl Ray's Nashville story would top would top everybody else. Okay. That's probably the best Nashville story we've had. <laughs> Carl Ray, you're awesome. Yeah, buddy. I, uh, we love you. I, I was writing with uh, Rick Guru and uh, yeah, CJ Solar. He CJ's really had a couple a couple. He's had mm-hmm. a a couple number ones, yep. but uh, yep. that's how me and Chemo met. And, yeah. He has ruined my career. He's he's bled me out. That's what it is. I was wounded <laughs> when I came to him, and he let me bleed to death over time. And I, I thought we had something going. I got hit by a truck. This is no yeah. uh, <laughs> hit by a truck on yeah. a motorcycle, uh, and that was pretty tragic. He left me in a wheelchair, and uh, I said, you know, screw the wheelchair. I'm getting out of the wheelchair, and I right. did. And Sure did. I started making that new record, and I remember I was in the studio. My mother called, and uh, I answered the phone. She said, "What are you doing?" I said, "I'm in the studio," and she said, "Oh, that's great. You got some session work." And I was like, "No, ma'am." And she said, "Please tell me you're not making another record." I said, "Yeah." And she said, "Oh, baby, why?" It's just, she said, "It's just going to tank." And I was like, "Mom." That, I gotta let you go. <laughs> just I gotta to let you go. Thanks, uh, to- Carl. Oh. Hey, we're gonna take a quick break, and we'll be back with more, more of these tales from Carl Ray. Uh, Man, we, you know what? He's Carl should be our guest every week. He's he's the best, no doubt. We'll be right back. You're my one temptation, what I can't refuse. I want. Back with the man, Carl Ray Hopper. <sighs> he's hurting me. He is, man. He's he's, he's he's got the goods. <sighs> um, Carl and I, we we've Carl, you've you've done two two EPs, right? That we did together. Oh, I do. Yeah, yeah. They, they sound great, man. You guys ever get a chance to work with Chemo? I suggest you start in your early twenties, <laughs> and uh, by the time you're thirty, your record will come out. <laughs> But it'll sound great. <laughs> Just come with a pick line because, already inserted. I'll tell you what. The, 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 the thing I, I love about him is he gives it right back. Man. He smacks me, smacks me all the time. I, and you I know, love I, I love you. I'm just playing, okay. man. I mean. I'll tell you, though, when you need a hype guy, if you're ever down, this is the man right here. I mean, he has sent me some of the best texts in the world, you know, like, and, and it just, just gets you going. <laughs> but... Um, <clears throat> Let's let's show you know up. every word hey, is true. This um that song no matter what. You got a video on that one, right? I do yeah. and uh hey, let's, it's not up. Oh, it's, pardon me. It's not on YouTube. I watched it uh, the other day. Where's it at? It's I think it's on Facebook or okay. something. I, I was trying to upload it to YouTube j- just this uh weekend and I think I smashed one computer that I borrowed, <laughs> and then I borrowed another one, and I've already tore the enter key off of it, so I got to <laughs> glue it back on and give it back to them. Yeah. But uh, no, don't do, do, do not loan do not loan Carl Ray your computer. Whatever you do, do not loan it to him. <laughs> yeah. Uploads and downloads are not my forte. <laughs> I know. No, but. Um, you do have a video though for American Skin, right? Pardon? You do have a video for American Skin. That's out. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. That's up on the tube. We're gonna show a little clip of that one right now. I 
50 white stars, a pink Cadillac, a big old heart with a mama in it. Well, that's American skin. That's American skin. A big battleship, a portrait of the king, a go-go girl, the face of James Dean. That's American skin. Good song, it American is a good Skin. Song, man. Yeah, a lot of fun. Who wrote that one? I was me and Peyton Turner. Really? She's uh Do you know Peyton? No, but you. That's awesome, man. Yeah, she uh she got out of Nashville. She lives uh, like up in Virginia now, and mm. she's had it. You know. You guys can't can't, can't see it, but. Carl does have ink all over him, all over that American skin right there that he's singing about. You probably saw it in the video, but he's got some pretty <laughs> cool ink. And I, I'm Such also a fun song. Yeah, it, it, it is great, and and I can't wait to re, remix it the way it should be mixed, too. So I'm pretty excited about that. <laughs> but oh, let, let, let's address the elephant in in the room. Carl Ray does win the John Bon Jovi lookalike contest. I mean, there is no, it's hands down. Look at that. Look at those, yeah. those chiseled features, that strong chin. <laughs> I told him. What, what did you say? You said, I told I'll him, be I, fat Richie. I'll be his fat Richie. He can be. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Man, I, the last time I saw you, it was Halloween, and, and you were doing a gig playing drums, yeah. and I was just. Yeah. The, the the drum riser was doing like this. You know? <laughs> I thought that's a hazard. He's fixing to fall through. Yep. I was young <laughs> and beautiful. <laughs> I was young and beautiful when I first worked with Carl Ray. So he saw the he saw the adult me for the first time, and he was like, "Damn, there's like two of you there." Yeah. Dang. Whatever. <laughs> well, dang it, buddy! I made a wish. That's that's the that's the one, man. That's that's your record. I'm, man, we are in all the know, way on this thing, buddy. We have we've gone to the mat for it. We and we think it's we I, think it's going to do some good things. Hope so. Out of all the stuff we cut, man, I play that song for people, and everybody loves it. There's something uh, special about it. It's probably yeah. Jody Harris. No, it's no, got a thing. No, it's all you. It doesn't do it, Jody. <laughs> no, it's a great. Well, it, the bottom line is that it's a great song, period. You, you know, and once you start there, it's got that great melody. It's got the lonesome loser bass line. I mean, you can't. It, it's a can't miss. You know, and and you know your version has a little more, a little more oomph to it, and and it it really fits the song, and you sound great on it. Yeah, I do know that uh, Jennifer loves the record. That's um, our radio promoter. Oh Jennifer yeah, I'm Blair. looking. Uh, yeah, she I'm loves forward, it. I'm looking forward to working with her. I talked to her for a while on the phone. She, uh, she's a cool chick, man. Yeah. Very, very genuine person. Yeah, and yep. she, 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 she knows her job and this business inside out. So she, she's going to have in your corner. And and I'm thinking of big things for you, Carl. Right? I think that that's a song. It's got, it's got legs. I think it's got. I'm real excited about it. Yeah. And that doesn't happen very often. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you know, yeah. Uh, American Skin, when when we released that, I think we got added to a few stations. And mm -hmm. I was thinking, well, I'll be damned. I may have a comeback. <laughs> and, uh, and COVID hit. Yeah. There you go. There was, there was no touring. There was no nothing, man. It's just, I grew a beard. Yeah. <laughs> Turned into an alcoholic, you know. <laughs> uh, the dude, but made a wish. The That's dude. our song. I, I think uh, my version is probably the be best one. And you got to think that you have to believe it. I well, I've heard the others. I know it is. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes. I love it. That's right, man. And I can't wow. wait to get you on on the radio tour and you going out there and talking to them PDs. I mean, they go, oh, what? You put oh. me on hold, brother. Are you there? 
<laughs> oh, hey, we're gonna take. Oh, wait, he's back. There he is. What? We, we we were getting ready to take a break right there for you. You you went on hold for for a second. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You you you're good now. But what what I was saying, can't wait to get you out there in Radio Land and start meeting all those program directors and. Because you are a great salesman on top of everything else. Dude, you, I'm charming. You sell that. <laughs> I know. He's charming. <laughs> you can't help it. He's born that way. Man, Carl, yeah. what a great time. Man, we and we Kill appreciate me. you being here. Hey, let me tell you something. Hen- Henry Paul is going to be one of our guests at the Club Live down there, our once a month show. And we will definitely have you on that same bill as Henry Paul. That'll be Oh, fun. my God. That oh my be- God! Where's that? That's over Bobbyland, right? Yeah, yeah, that's that gig. Yeah, yeah, and we we'll we'll definitely get you in the lineup on that. You can yeah. you can get H- Henry's face again and say, "Hey, we're you know, I'm still uh, here. I'm here, man. <laughs> I'm still, still here. I still ain't made that two hundred dollars back." <laughs> Should we get somebody besides uh, Cash Creek to back me up? Oh no, no. <laughs> Yeah, ah, that's right. hey, hey, we'll get a good band in there behind you. Uh, I won't let you flounder out there like that. <laughs> Not with those. Yeah, I don't want you guys sandbagging me. I can't do it all, man. You know, <laughs> no sandbagging. No sandbagging. Dang, no we, sandbagging. We we phoned it in for everybody else. I guess we need to show up for Carl Ray. You <laughs> definitely put put me on with Henry Paul, man. That would be uh, what a blessing. That'd be a good time. Good match right there. Folks. I remember him. He was wearing all white. He had white jeans, a white shirt, and brand new tennis shoes that never, you know, stepped in dog crap or anything. <laughs> and uh, he he looked like a white knight, man. He was glorious. But he was driving a piece of crap. And uh, he really was. That's Carl Ray Hopper right there, folks. And get to know him, know that face, know the music. It, it's good stuff. Yeah, check uh Check out CarlRayMusic.com. There you go. Manifest that for us, money. That's right. 99 right cents at a time, man. 99 you know? cents. <laughs> Taking over the world. 99 <laughs> cents at a time. Thank you, brother, for being here. You're Thank awesome, Thank you buddy. for having me, man. We're, we're, we're looking forward to big things. That's Carl Ray. Carl Ray. Woo. Oh, wish I could turn you off just like Keep killing us. You know, I think that guy's looking over the fence and waiting for me to start talking, and then he revs his motor up. Yeah, <laughs> killing us. Uh, did we survive? We're back. Are we still here? Oh my gosh. Did we survive the old the old Carl Ray? How He's y'all a doing? character. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> Make it. <laughs> my yeah. goodness. It's good. It's a good version of that tune, though. Yeah. 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 It's, I'm really it's excited really about exciting. that. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna have a video coming. <laughs> He's still going. You'd think by now the guy would be done. Wow. <laughs> the crazy part too is his backyard's all gravel. It is. <laughs> he's he's cutting each blade of, blade of grass between the gravel. <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's great. That's what Now that's a man feel good about himself. That's right. You know, it it just adds it just adds to what we are. Of course. Sometimes. It's it's perfect. But it's the perfect sound for the motorsports minute. Yes. Let's go oh, to there you go. Driving it home. Oh, 
Oh, look, now we're back and it, it stops. <laughs> Don't you feel like you're, oh, no. you're sitting He's right there? He's grabbing back up now. You're sitting right there in turn three. And here, here it comes. Hey, the Leaf Blower Championship. <laughs> this weekend. <laughs> it's, it, it, it is. It's just Valentine's. Yeah, no. It's. Yeah. <laughs> it <laughs> is. The old, old Daytona. Yes. Swinging it around yes. again. Yes. Back at it. Do you know if it's if it's wide open or they have not heard? The Super Bowl was what? I didn't watch. Was it so I didn't either. Who I thought won? I, I heard that it was pretty <laughs> wide open. Oh really? A lot, like, lot of fans in the stadium. Really? Huh. So yeah. but, you know, I guess the NFL is hurting, so you know, you know. Sure, you know. Sure, hey yeah. Joe, can you do something about this? Hey, right. sure. Pine trees. There are no leaves to blow. <laughs> what the hell? He's proud of his blower, Jim. <laughs> That's right. I don't That's understand. Right. Uh, he's got the five speed on it. I okay. guess. Yes. Yeah, so, anyway. Yes. Yeah, so D- Daytona starting up. Uh, <sighs> anyway, Kyle Larson and Hendricks number five. Yeah. yeah. And Chris Bell in a Gibbs car. I think that's going to yeah. be. That's going to be the the That's going to be an interesting right watch there. right there. They're both in top tier equipment. Maybe yeah. we'll have a little bit, a few more of them chili bowls. You know, I'm going to do this post because I, I can get rid of a lot of that post. <laughs> a lot of that noise. Yeah, but it's fun. Yeah, And Jim's trying to hear what we're saying. He can't hear can't nothing. Can't hear a thing. That's okay. <laughs> I know, poor guy. It's a, he doesn't watch this anyway. Yeah, so. yeah that's right. <laughs> how, many, how many races into the season before Michael Jordan fires Bubba Wallace? Oh, yeah, Motorsports Minute. That's right. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's funny because he said he wants to win right out of the box, and I'm saying, well, you need to put Hamlin in that seat then if you want to win. But I don't know. I mean, I really think it it it's definite a kind of a time now for Bubba where he's going to have to produce. Right. Yeah. He's You'll have the money. Have to. Yeah. Yeah. You got to. You got to. You, you know. He'll have happen. the gear. He'll have the people. Although he does have the sponsors too, so he'll have. I mean, he'll 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 have a ride as long as he wants one. As long as they're paying. Uh, Although Jordan, you know. oh, you're right. Jordan doesn't. Jordan, he doesn't. He need, wants to win. He wants to, he wants win. to win. He ain't throwing yeah. money at losing. Yeah. Did you see that last quote that was going around social social media from him? Somebody asked him if if Jordan's Bulls played uh, LeBron's Lakers. Did you see that? No. And, oh and, yeah. Yeah. yeah and and, and I, who knows if it's true, but it's great. But he's. He, uh, Wanted to know who who would win, and Jordan said, "Yeah, the Bulls by two. And the the, the guy said, "Why is such a close game?" He says, "Well, we're, we're all sixty years we're all old. Sixty now. years old now. Yeah, <laughs> love that. I love, I it. love that. Yeah, LeBron. that's funny. Anyway, okay, okay so quick, we got to finish this motorsports anyway, minute here. Yeah. So the world of outlaws also opened up already." The first oh, yeah. race of the season was the top three championship finishers from last year. Sweet one, Shuhart second, Shots third. That was the opening race. Then the second one got, I'm not sure what happened, got rained out. But then Sunday night, Shots was going for his, it was going to be his 300th win, which is a mm. pretty big milestone. Yeah. And he was two laps from the end going away, had the win, and uh, ignition. Oh, failed. no. So, oh, come so he coasted in like 22nd place. Oh. Ouch. Yeah. yeah. That's racing. And Shuhart won. So it's it's it, it's gonna be the it's gonna be the same guys. Just like Supercross. Rocks and Webb and Rocks and Sweat Indy. He Rocks went all and three fire. Fire. Yeah. yeah. The top yeah. three will just keep trading places. They'll just keep trading on. He, he yeah. took all three. All three. All three. Yeah. Yeah. Man oh man. The the Colts have never gone undefeated in that building, so it was cool that Somebody could. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's yeah. it. That's mm. it. Ooh. I don't think I got a squatch mm. report this week either. Wasn't prepared. I do. You do? I Wait, have James got a squatch report. Wait. Yes. Yes. Okay. Lay it on us, buddy. So my son's uh, neighbor, guy who lives two doors down from him up in uh, Camino, Left was drinking. telling me that somehow we got on the subject of Bigfoot. I'm not quite sure how, but somehow we got on the subject of Bigfoot, and uh, he said – that a few years back he was driving in his car going down the road and he looked over and there was a like an eight foot tall man like figure running next to his car 
you know, said it was covered in hair. And he said he freaked out because he looked down and he was doing about 50 miles an hour. Whoa. Yeah. He said, and then it turned, it, it just kind of took a left turn and ran off into the woods. That's wow. awesome. Yeah. Wow. He said he couldn't even believe what he was, what he was seeing. He had to check himself several times to make sure he wasn't <laughs> dreaming. Right. That's, you know? Yeah. That's, that's the deal. You, you, you doubt yourself. So, uh, where was this? So this is up in uh, Camino, so just north of me, up Highway 50. Uh, Foothills of, of yeah. the Sierras. Yeah. So that's yeah, probably why he was Tahoe. booking so hard. He was trying to get back. Yeah. You know? That's cool. Yeah. Did you tell him yeah. to report it to the BFRO? No, mm. but I will. Yes. Yeah, because I, I think it's BFRO.net or something, and you have a place where you – because they're, they're trying – they're doing a legitimate – they're trying to do a legitimate – study and population and all that kind of stuff so if you hear of anybody i will find out and y'all out there if you if you have any any stories or any run-ins with the hairy one bfro.net reach out to them the hairy one that's awesome hey man. jim did he yeah. say what time of day daylight night when the sighting What's happened? That? what time of day dusk twilight oh it was not it was it was nighttime mm. yeah, yeah. He said it was like uh, nine, nine thirty, something like that. Wow! And he was—he was the only one on the road. You know, just a two-lane road up there in the up there in the hills. That's what happens. Yeah. Coming, he was coming home from work. Next thing he knows, he's got something something running next to his car. Nice! Wow! Yeah. Eight foot tall ish, covered in hair, booking along yep. at fifty mile an hour. Fifty miles an hour. I believe it. I know. Yeah. Then he said it just turned left and ran off in the woods, like it knew right where it was needed to go. He's just out for a jog. Hey, how you doing? Got to go now. Wow. All right. Hmm. That's a good squatch report right there. That's a good one. Thank you. What's That's this fellow's name? Is is he willing to go on record? Uh, his name is Josh. He's on record right now. He's Josh. on record now. Josh. He'd, pro- he'd probably be willing to do it. He absolutely believes what he saw. Yeah, I'm sure he did. Yeah. You know, yeah, Josh, it's pretty startling. Josh, one of the chosen few, crazy conspiracy theorists. All of you. So, before we go today, I'd like to bring attention to my cup here. It's pretty cool. That's you see that? Oh, it's outstanding. It yep. is. It's got it's it's the flag, it's in this hardy graphite, whatever it is. You can't really break it. It has the Pledge of Allegiance on it in the stripes. Hey, let's, but I'm not sure. What what company is that? Yeah, yeah. Put it in there. I think I've got that. Look at that. The Pledge of Allegiance right there. I wish I knew what company it was, but I do know that they, I think, I think their proceeds go to veterans. I think it's a veteran-made company. That would be sweet. I bet Jerry Nadler didn't approve that. Uh, Nadler <laughs> did not approve of it. But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but this was a, this was a gift to me from, from my bride. That is cool. She has all the info on it. I don't have the info. So that is really cool. If you see her and maybe you like you got one a website of these, over here, you maybe can, I can do it now. Yeah, yeah right maybe. now. Do do your oh. manifesting thing. Look at that. There it is. It's right there. <laughs> How do you do that? I'm just gifted, man. <laughs> He's gifted, all right. Yeah. It took yeah. us a while to get rid of that last thing you manifested in the last show. <laughs> Sorry about that, boys. That thing just hung around. <laughs> Clings to you. It does. <laughs> oh, well, well. Let's get out of here. We're rambling here. on and on and on. Mm-hmm. On and on and on. We'll see. You. Oh, wait. You can see this on AIM Country Television. Yes. That's, yes. that's yep. this logo. Roku streaming yeah. devices. Right there. You did it again. And yeah. and we're soon to be on the Nashville Country Television Nashville Network. Country Television so that Network. logo too, Mark. Yes. Well, that one's got to go over here. Okay. <laughs> wait, let's adjust that. <laughs> right there. There it is. Yeah. 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 <laughs> So, thank you, crew. We'll see y'all next week. Hey, Blaylock, yeah. there's no more blowing going on out there. Now is when we should we should start yeah. over. We should start sure, over. Sure, now, yeah, yeah, now he's done. You he know? got rid of all the pine needles. You know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Blew them all in a gym uh, jar. All right, see y'all. <laughs> uh,